Hi, I'm Jeremy Dahl. Today I'm going to talk about chipping and in particular chipping strategy and, and how, to, uh, how to choose the right shot in the right circumstance. Now, the first decision that you need to make every single time when you're in a, in a place where you've just missed the green is not what club to use. Everybody does that and that's, that's getting the cart before the horse a little bit. What you need to do is choose the landing point. You can divide your shot up into flight time and roll time and the landing point that you should choose uh, we've used one of these uh, Bridgestone tyres here to, to show you what we're going to try and do. The landing point that I would choose is always just on the green, so just beyond this tyre, I'm going to try and chip it through it. You could equally lay the tyre on the floor or use an umbrella uh, to, chip, to practice your chipping at, uh, at home. That would be a good, uh, good little strategy um, to then be targeting where the ball needs to land. And of course you've got to choose the right club for the right situation. Now um, I've actually got a 9-iron here, but um, this is all downhill to that flag, so it's going to run much more than it normally would. With a 9-iron, the ball would normally run about 50-50. This is going to run a little bit further, but the trick is to match the... Uh, there we go, straight through it, and it will take a hop down that slope and finish up somewhere near the hole. Now, if that was flat, that shot would have only gone half in the air and half on the ground, 50-50. So that's your 9-iron club. If you were chipping... Um, further or shipping back up this hill you'd probably need a seven iron so again pick the landing point a couple of yards on the green if you want it to run a bit further choose a seven iron i've even chipped with five irons and four irons now uh, before now when the ball's got to go up a up a slope and of course if you want the ball to stop then you need one of your wedges so for example if the tire was where the hole is the landing point would be here and you'd need a, a wedge or a sand wedge probably to make it stop in time but the trick is to always have a really good idea, there we go, that's nice, of where you want the ball to land and that becomes the target, not the hole. Those have finished close because I hit my landing point with a good strike, not because I was focused on the hole. I picked the landing point, chose the right club, job done. <laughs>